If you're a fan of the Harry Potter universe and have been playing Hogwarts Legacy for some time now, you may have encountered an annoying DirectX runtime error when trying to launch the game. This error can be frustrating, but fear not. There are several potential fixes to get you back on track and enjoying the game. Here are some possible solutions to the Hogwarts Legacy Direct's runtime error on PC. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Fix 1. Update your graphics drivers. Outdated graphics drivers can often cause issues with games, including DirectX runtime errors. To ensure your drivers are up to date, go to your graphics card manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers. Once downloaded, install them and try launching the game again. Fix 2. Install the latest version of DirectX. DirectX is a collection of APIs that enable games to interact with your PC's hardware. If you have an outdated version of DirectX installed, it can cause issues when running games. To ensure you have the latest version of DirectX installed, go to the Microsoft website and download the DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. Run the installer and follow the instructions to install the latest version of DirectX. Fix 3. Verify the integrity of game files. Sometimes game files can become corrupted during installation or download, causing issues when launching the game. To verify the integrity of game files. To do this, if you're playing on Steam, launch Steam. Go to Library, right-click the game, select Properties, select Local Files, Click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait for the verification process to finish, check the results, then launch the game. Fix 4. Run the game in Compatibility Mode. Compatibility Mode can be a useful tool for running older games or games that may not be fully optimized for your system. To run the game in Compatibility Mode, right-click on the game icon and select Properties. Click on the Compatibility tab and check the box that says Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. From the drop-down menu, select the operating system the game was designed for, most likely Windows 7 or 8. Click Apply and then OK to save the changes and try launching the game again. Fix 5. Disable any overclocking or custom settings. Overclocking or using custom settings can sometimes cause issues with games including DirectX runtime errors. If you have overclocked your system or are using custom settings, try disabling them and running the game with default settings. This can help identify if the issue is related to your overclocking or custom settings. That's it! If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.